guys, in this video we will be adding uh, files and folders into a newly created Dropbox account. So if we go to our uh, menu bar at the top if you're using Mac or at the bottom if you're using Windows, uh, if you haven't uh, load the Dropbox yet, uh, double click on the Dropbox icon and then this uh, icon will show up in the menu bar and if you click on it. Now since I uh, showed you in my first video in the Dropbox series, uh, I was using uh, Dropbox version 1.6.6 I think. However, since then it has updated to Dropbox 2.0 and if you click on the menu icon, the pop-up uh, window has actually changed quite dramatically. If you click on the Dropbox folder, the Dropbox folder will actually uh, open up. If you if you click on this uh, website link, dropbox.com, your uh, Dropbox website page will uh, pop up. I will go through this uh, accessing your Dropbox from your web uh, from the website in the next video. And over here it says up to date. And uh, there's the preferences. I've got 0% of 2 gigabytes used, uh, it's up to date and you can uh, all the other ones are the same from the previous one. Okay, so let's open our Dropbox folder. There we go. And at the moment it's currently empty and we want to put our stuff in it. So I'm going to put this to one side and then open up this my folder which I just created and inside here I've got stuff I want to uh, share or put into my Dropbox uh, account so that I could either back it up or I could uh, access it from another computer. So I've got a couple of images, two icons, uh, an HTML, uh, main.html, a document where I used for my HTML, CSS and JavaScript tutorials and I've got my mental math uh, screen flow recording saved files so I could edit them later on if I want to. Now, one way of doing it is uh, dragging and dropping. Uh, because it's in the same uh, location, it's going to just move it. Or you can use Command C or uh, Control C if you're using Windows and just copy it paste into your Dropbox account and that's gonna copy it. So I'm just going to drag all this into my Dropbox. And there we go, it's going to automatically sync and upload the newly uh, copy pasted documents, uh, folders and files onto your cloud storage and if you go to each folders you can see that each of the files are getting synced and the folder itself is getting synced and if you go to the icon at the top over here, I think I'll zoom in, you'll see this uh, blue circle going round and round saying that it's currently syncing. So. Uh, I'll come back when it's synced because it's actually taking quite a bit of time. Okay, so after like a minute of waiting, I decided to check the size of my folder and surprise, surprise, it was actually over one gigabyte. It was 1.17 gigabytes. And if I go to my Dropbox uh, icon and then scroll, go down a bit, you can see over here that it says updating 13 files and four hours left. Uh, there's no way I'm going to wait for four hours, so I think I'll just delete all that except for one. Uh, delete that and let that sync. Let's check how long that's going to take. It says 25 minutes. Oh, that's ages. Okay, screw that as well. I am going to delete this. And after I've deleted it, if I go over here, it says everything is up to date because I've deleted all the files that haven't been synced. Now I want to create a folder so I could just create a new folder and it's automatically going to get synced. Now every time I change the name of this folder or even a file, let's change this to, I don't know, uh, my folder. It's going to sync quickly again, change the folder name in the cloud to my folder and what when I put, I don't know, some image inside, like so it's going to update again because although it's not updating the image or uploading the image, the location of the image has changed. So it's going to quickly sync again and change the image location from my folder to my images. If I change it again, there we go. Easy. Uh, in the next video, I think that'll do. Yeah, it's four minutes, it's fine. In the next video, I will be uh, going on to my Dropbox website to access, uh, modify, delete, rename, update uh, and do all the other stuff with 
uh, your Jobbox website. So look forward to that.